Hello everyone, today we are using OSX and we're going to create a uh, application, an OSX application. Sorry I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos, but um, I've been busy, I had my Mac crash. I'll talk about that a little more at the end if you want to hear that story, but I know a lot of you guys are eager to get started. So you have OSX right here, application, Coco application is what we'll be doing. I'm going to name this desktop app. You guys should know how this works, organization name, your name, or the organization. You got the organization identifier, which is your web address, but reverse, or you could do me.yourName, and then which would create the bundle identifier for me would be me.cameratarbell.desktop-app if I were to use me.cameratarbell, which would be my name. All right, so language will be using Swift. Hit next, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna replace mine because I have had a practice one here. All right, so you have pretty much the same stuff that you would have for an iOS application, except you have an app delegate to do all your programming in. You do all your programming in the app delegate in this. So in your XIB, you have all your menu uh, right here, but we wanna use the desktop app view, which if you click that, you get your view. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drag in a label. And we're going to show you how this is a little different. Um, go ahead, give it a little room, center it, center the text. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a button. I'm going to do a round rect button. I haven't seen round rect buttons since Xcode 4. Back when I was, yeah, I remember the good old days of Xcode 4. <laughs> Back before flat icons were the thing and all that great stuff. All right, we're going to create an outlet to the label here. I'm going to call this label one. And then in your application did finish launching, which is the same thing as the super view did load in iOS, you're going to put um, label one dot set or dot string value equals hello world. Sorry, right there is what we just told it to do is label one and the text, essentially the string value is going to equal hello world. On top of that, we're going to create an outlet for the button as well. And I'm going to call this button one. And we're going to do button one dot title equals change text. So we just created a string value and a title. A title is used in a button. So therefore, button one dot title equals change text. Therefore, label will say hello world, while button one will say change text. Let's launch our application here by hitting the little start button. It loads up and voila, hello world change text. Let's create an action here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drag in here and we're gonna create an action. I'm gonna put change text as the action name. Now in here, this is when the button is clicked. We will be doing this. We're gonna say label one dot string value equals and we're going to say hello world text changed all right so right there that's that's about all you need so you might want to give it a little more room here i'm going to make it nice and roomy i'm going to go ahead and do that launch the application now change the text bam we have the text changed all that great hoopla so anyway, um, that's all I'm going to do for this very first Hello World episode. You kind of get the gist of how to change text using OSX, but that's all I'm going to do for this one. I'm going to continue this one. I'm going to continue my iOS series as well as the future um, comes up. Um, just kind of... I'm kind of waiting on some stuff. Uh, I, I still, there's there's some Xcode bugs in iOS that just aren't allowing me to do what I want to do. So anyway, thank you for checking this out. Subscribe to me, subscribe to Swift Devs, follow us on Twitter at Swift Devs. And uh, yeah, I mean, and also check out our website. We really want some activity on that website, swiftdevs.co. I'm Cameron, have a great day.